For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Ava. The reactions from Monique's interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay continues to pour in. This time, Steve Harvey would address the interview on his morning radio show, The Steve Harvey Morning Show. If you remember, Harvey would also sublimely address the Cat Williams interview in the same way by saying he told lies, spread negativity, and blamed everyone else for his own problems. It appears that Harvey has the same reaction when it comes to Monique's interview and her calling out his fellow king of comedy, D.L. Hughley. On Friday, Harvey would take time to specifically address the topic of comedy beefs by saying this isn't what the genre was made for. Additionally, he would say that only a few of the same comedians are often involved in this type of drama. I want to address what's being labeled as comedy beefs. This thing that's going around now about comedy beefs, it's only coming really from a few people. 85 South ain't beefing with nobody. And those are the youngest comedic giants out there. What you're seeing, man, in these comedy beefs are people who aren't where they used to be. Now, without saying any names specifically, Harvey would then tell his listeners that he was a headliner in comedy since 1995, and there has never been a question as to who's headlining the show because it's put in his contract. According to Harvey, it was understood, particularly when he was on the Kings of Comedy tour, that each comedian would headline their own hometown. Bernie headlined Chicago, Cedric headlined St. Louis, and DL closed Los Angeles. The only exception would be during a stop in Baltimore, where Chris Tucker joined the show and the promoter wanted him to close the show. Harvey stated as long as he got paid, he didn't mind. This, of course, would be in reference to the very public back and forth between D.L. Hughley and Monique, which was reignited after Monique's interview on Club Shay Shay. You see, back in 2021, the two were scheduled on the same lineup, and it appears that both parties were told they were going to close the show. Monique would take to the stage first and publicly roast Hughley. Unfortunately, the roasting didn't stop there as it continued for the next few weeks and got ugly and personal after family was mentioned. On his radio show, Harvey would go on to say that there's no such thing as a memo, only a contract. This was also in reference to both Hughley and Monique posting deal memos and contracts in order to prove who was the true headliner of that show. I don't know what it is about us, man, but I'm watching other cultures and it just ain't happening. It ain't no white groups battling. It ain't no white comedians battling. It ain't no white superstars going at each other and attacking each other. It ain't no old washed up acts going after the new acts. It ain't got none of that, but we keep filling our timeline with this stuff. Man, we have to do better. So what do you guys think about Steve Harvey's reaction to Monique's new interview on Club Shay Shay? Let's talk about it more in the comments below. But stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and check out the hype market for all your cool and original merchandise. And plus, if you're watching this on YouTube and enjoy this story, send us a super thanks by hitting a button below and tip us what you want to show your support. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Opp. You also intimated that I was coward. You know what I'd never do? I would never let my woman take care of me. I would never let my woman has to ask another man for money. I'd never do that.